We've got, uh, well, a trinity of experts here to give us their perspective on, on the huge news today. Karun Chandok, Ted Kravitz, and the 1996 world champion, Damon Hill, as well. Karun, the why question is the big one, I think, in all of this. Why has Lewis Hamilton decided at the age of 39, Ferrari is the right place for him? That is the biggest question, and I think that's something we all want to hear from him, because... You know, as recently as a few months ago, you know, in fact, I think it was the 31st of August, they announced the new two-year contract at Mercedes starting in this beginning of this year for 24 and 25. Uh, and somehow, somewhere, he's either lost confidence in the Mercedes project and doesn't believe they can give him a chance to fight Max Verstappen, or B, it is just that romantic lure of, you know, as this image shows, being, being in red. And... Yeah, I'd love to hear from him, really, and see, you know, see what he has to say. Yeah. Is it heart or head, Ted? Probably both. I mean, while we're waiting for official confirmation from either Mercedes that he's not going to fulfil his newly signed contract or for Ferrari that he's going to join him in a year's time, you know, we should say thank you, Ferrari, and thank you, Lewis Hamilton, for exploding the driver's market that had looked very static for, uh, for this year. But uh, it is for next year. And I think Lewis Hamilton, he had to ask himself one question, and that was, can I win another championship at Mercedes? And if the answer to that was yes, then he's got this year to do it. But if the answer to that is no, and he thinks that Red Bull are going to win the next championship this year and probably 2025 and who knows about 2026, then he thinks, well, my career is going to end maybe in the next four or five years. I'd like to drive for Ferrari one day. And then, in that regard, it makes sense. I mean, so you're saying, in a way, a couple of years without winning at Ferrari is better than maybe a couple of years without a guaranteed title at Mercedes. Well, let's see what Damon Hill thinks. Is his best chance, if we rule out Red Bull, is Lewis's best chance of winning an eighth world title at Ferrari is a better opportunity than, than Mercedes, thing put. I, I think if Lewis genuinely thought that the uh, eighth title was guaranteed or a good 50-50 chance of uh, happening if he stayed at Mercedes, he would have stayed. Uh, so I think that the, he's got to the point where he's probably heard the music coming out of Mercedes maybe a few too many seasons and started to think, well, you know, I need to invigorate my, my final years in Formula One. What better way to do it than to drive for Ferrari? At least I've got a chance. If it goes wrong, at least I tried. Yeah. I mean, I want to ask you, though, Karun. Lewis has achieved so much at Mercedes off track as well. The various initiatives he's started, the Ignite programme, Mission 44. He's talked previously about Ferrari not necessarily being aligned with him in that vision. Do you think John Elkan, the chairman, has maybe said to Lewis, no, you, you can reinvent us in a sense. And are Ferrari looking at, at Lewis Hamilton to, well, to refresh their brand too, potentially? I actually think there's, there's an element of that. You know, I think Ted often uses the quote that Lewis is one of the grown-ups in the room. You know, we, we know he's very conscious of, um, you know, of his status as a global spokesperson for various causes. Um, and Ferrari haven't really got on the bandwagon in terms of supporting uh, initiatives in the same way Mercedes have. And maybe he does see this as a way to drag what is undoubtedly Formula One's biggest brand on a journey. Um, I think also a crucial point to think about is we've got two years left in this rule cycle. 20, you know, 25 is the final year of the current cycle. To me, the fact that he's gone for 25 indicates perhaps that he doesn't think this year's car is going to be great either because they're not going to turn turn the car upside down for 25 because in 26 we've got a whole new car coming so to me this is a sign that lewis has gone i don't like what i've seen already i think we're going to struggle in 24 and 25 i might as well go there get my feet under the door at ferrari for 25 and hit the ground running for 26 with a brand new set of regulations coming. OK, I'm interested. You talked about the driver market being put in flux by all this, Ted. We've got a year of Lewis Hamilton as an exiting Mercedes driver. So does George Russell get preferential treatment at Mercedes? And, and what of Carlos signs at, at Ferrari? How is he feeling right now? They are just two of the delicious questions <laughs> we have to answer this year. What is, Mace, what is Mercedes going to say? What, how are the mechanics going to feel towards Lewis Hamilton? Does that clearly puts 
uh, George, Hamil uh, George uh, Russell in a position where he's thinking, OK, well, I'm the future of this team. Carlos Sainz could go back and replace Hamilton at Mercedes. Mercedes could look at someone like Alex Albon to replace Hamilton or get one of their junior drivers. Kimi Antonelli's a young Italian driver or one of their other junior drivers to replace him. But, you know, I go back, Craig, to something that Sebastian Vettel said. Never a Mercedes driver, but certainly a Red Bull driver and Might a Ferrari he be a Mercedes driver. driver. He could. <laughs> the stranger things have happened, as yeah. this has shown us. But he always said that, you know what, no matter what they say, everybody's a Ferrari fan. And Lewis Hamilton drives a couple of road-going Ferraris. He's always said that he'd like to drive over the Scuderia one day. But that has turned out to be true today. Yeah. One last question to you, Damon, the driver. And you've been in a position where you have to, to make a final a, a call on your career. Lewis has been sure-footed previously in, in his career choices. Good move or bad move this for him, ultimately. Don't say time will tell. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say he's got an instinct. He's got a racer's instinct as to which way the wind blows. And I think he may have actually pulled the blinder just like he did when he left McLaren and went to Mercedes.